right here, I have some wrapping paper. It's like mylar almost, but you can use uh, candy wrappers, panko bread crumb, uh, like the, you know, the package inside there. It's kind of like mylar. And you can use so many things for this. But I will say that at Walmart, these are like a dollar for like I don't know, 15 feet or something like that. So next thing is some razor blades. Five pack, guess you are gonna need all five, and I'll show you why. So next up to bat is some electrical tape. And if you've been around my channel, you know that I use this stuff quite often. So electrical tape, that's it. Three things, let's go. So to make things more manageable, I'm just gonna take a piece of this stuff here and cut it off. So the next thing is you gotta take all five razor blades out. Quick PSA, uh, these are razor blades, they're gonna cut you if you're not being careful, so yeah, there's that. Okay, so I won't lie, this is kind of the little tricky bit here, but we're gonna take some tape. So I got a piece of tape, and I'm just lining these guys up on my table the best I can. It's okay if they're not 100%, because we can kind of play around with that, but um, try to get them as close as possible. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that tape on the one side, and then we're going to Put some force around there. See, it's kind of moving around on me, so I'm just gonna realign it by putting it on the table here. Okay, so it's a little bit like that. So I'm just gonna run it this way. There we go. So all I care about is making sure that they are uh, lined up. All the blades are lined up uh, horizontally, so we're good there. It doesn't matter if they have a bit of a, an angle or anything like that, and you'll see why. It really doesn't matter because the next uh, thing that I'm gonna show you is how to cut it. Uh, and as long as you have a long enough stroke, you're gonna get quite a few of them here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put a considerable amount of pressure on uh, the material, and we're just gonna slit it right through, okay? Here we go. And we're just gonna put a bit of pressure on one end here, and there we go. All the way to the end. Now, give me a second here. We got, we got a bunch of flash of boot. Put it off to the side. Just to kind of show you, I used some electrical tape uh, to kind of put it on a hank, um, but uh, I would highly recommend if you had a zip tie or uh, you know those like sandwich uh, twisty tie thingies at the grocery store that uh, you just get for free. The beauty part about this is is that you can make them as long or as short as you want, different colors, just kind of use your imagination. There's tons of materials that you're throwing in, the, um, in your recycling bin that can just turn into some pretty cool flashaboo. What about making magnum flashaboo or or just different types of flashaboo, like, like different widths of it? And uh, you know what, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, folks. All you do is you're just gonna shim in between each razor blade with something. And guess what? So you know the cardboard that came with the, uh, that it just protects the uh, the blade when, we're, when, when you first get it out of the package? You can use that and just sandwich them in between each razor blade to the desired thickness that you want. So you can try just one piece of cardboard and then so on and so forth. You can maybe even try three pieces of cardboard for like bigger, more beefier looking uh, flash boot. But that's the deal. I hope this has helped somebody out there. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. So please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much. I'm Milan from Greenhorn Flyhorn. Keep it tight.